In this scene, I told you that all the Paul Walker, Jordana Brewster scenes had to be in the same street opera reality as the Vin Diesel, Michelle Rodriguez scenes. In this scene, I felt the two actors were being floored and overwritten and that I didn't really believe them. And that the scene before in the dining room said everything that needed to be said about their sexual and romantic attraction, plus the foreboding of Vin Diesel's crash or death in a car seemed fey and not necessary. So the scene hit the bin. This little bit of scene was clever and I loved the shot showing the entire circular house. So visually I liked it, but the idea of uh, references to O.J. Simpson just seemed hopelessly outdated and um, forced. So this one hit the pin. The setup of Jesse's character in this scene was just frankly not needed. It was so much better to start with the design of the Supra and the computer and his explanation of the options that Brian had that we did not need this little bit of stall. So it hit the bin. Here was a scene I really liked, a totally improvised scene of the guys having lunch, talking about their first driving experiences with their shirts off on a hot day, working on a car, smell of the grease, the drink and the beer, remembering when cars came into their lives. Unfortunately, there was really no room for it in the film although some of the sentiments and insights into cars and driving, especially Vin's improvised insight about your life being divided in two parts by when before you drive and after you drive. And uh, I, I, I was sorry to cut it. On the other hand, it stopped the film cold. And in a movie called The Fast and Furious, anything that stops it cold must hit the bin. So for the women who sadly don't get the same equal time with bare chests that the men get in movies. I'm trying to balance out the slate here and give you some justice. <laughs> I shit you not. Something about learning how to drive. Well, it's a, you, you're, you're a driver or you're not a driver. So up and Ben down, needs to work out. Driving is one lifetime, and then after you start driving is another lifetime. Here again, just a little bit of jabber that stopped the flow of the movie and referred to a scene we've seen that seems to have gone on much earlier and yet is being referred to as something that happened quite recently. So again, hits the bin. This scene is where the PG-13 and the R-rated film has to divide. Although we spent a lot of time lighting the big power plant down in the South Bay area and uh, doing a scene of these guys of Jordana and Paul making out. Again, it feels like it's one of those high school films. It lacks the edge and the texture of the rest of the film. It's precious. It isn't, uh, it doesn't have any of the bite. The blocking is just unrealistic and, uh, it feels like a, a young film, and I was cutting this out of the film even on the night I was shooting it, and I didn't uh, have the heart to tell the actors that I had already made that decision, and besides, they were enjoying kissing each other, and who wanted to break something like that up? Plus, the crew was on overtime, and that helps their kids go to college. So, all in all, everybody got something out of it, but we had to save the scene for the deleted scene file for the DVD. Not here.
when we did the skulls, I did a much hotter love scene with Leslie Bibb and Josh Jackson in the shower. And one of the cards said, and I'm paraphrasing to make it cleaner, if you won't show me her breasts, don't waste my time. <laughs> Not that I listened to that kind of stuff, but it made an impact. And I felt uh, in an R-rated scene film, you could get into a juicy love scene, PG-13, best to avoid the area. This was Neil milking his part, and uh, one of the great pleasures you can have as a director is cutting the producer down in the film. In fact, it's one of the excessive pleasures you can have. Instead of leaving the scene at its peak emotion, which is where the edit of the film is at Race Wars, we went into this where everything, the crowd was dispersing and so was the energy of the film. So it hit the bin. Anyone's an arc around here, you know who it is. Although I do like this technocrane shot uh, very much, but don't fall in love with shots, kill your darlings, all those quaint sayings of editing. <laughs>